the second field? At once, sir. Second field. This is Akir, a planet of stone with a single green spot. Let's see it. Field five. What about their forms? Compatible with ours. Oxygen burners with lateral symmetry. They have a solar technology. No known defense capacity. Interesting. Let's check that. The only craft they have is an old weather ship. We've got a few cloud formations. Look like negative ion over the fertile region. Nothing to worry about. And uh, as for that cold front, it's... Hey, Carm, pick up something here. We got visitors. Hello there. Welcome to the outer atmosphere of the planet Akir. Put it through the language translator. Hello? Could you identify yourself, please? I possess a stellar converter, the most powerful weapon in the universe. You cannot resist me. I, I want, want your, your planet, planet to be my colony. colony. Your harvest, harvest comes in seven, seven risings risings of your, your red, red giant. giant. I, I will return, return then, and you will accept me as your master. If you do not submit, your planet and all life on it will be burned to ash. Snipers forward. Snipers! Forward! Fire at will. Merely a demonstration, beings of Akir. I will return in seven risings. You are mine. Yago, pick a fighter to stay behind to watch them. Full thrust to Umatil. I have a promise to keep. No, no, listen to me. We don't know how. We live by the Varda. The Varda is not to fight. The Akira haven't fought for centuries. I have fought. And I am a son of Akira. And you are an old man. I have lasted this long by fighting. We are all going to be killed. We are defenseless. To fight creatures of violence, you must use creatures of violence. We should hire mercenaries. We have no wealth to offer them. The violent fight for many reasons. Oh, yes, but then who will protect us against these mercenaries? For that, we have the Varda. Who will find them? I will. You. You're a boy. 
The Varda teach us that each form has its function. My brother is the only one who can fly Zed's ship. That's a junk pile. Junk pile? I've taken her up. I think she trusts me. And your first mission? Go to the Phoenix Cluster. Find the station of Dr. Hephaestus. Best weapons man in the system. Drop my name and he'll be sure to help you. If he's still operative. I'm turning the boy over to you, Nell. Take good care of him. Hello, Nell. No. Hello, Nell. Are you there, old girl? Nobody calls me that but Zed. Sorry. This isn't going to be just another planetary joyride, you know. I know that, Nell. I'll do my best not to let you down. We'll see. Anyway, I told him you trusted me. You're okay, a little wet behind the ears. Well, the only thing we have to remember is that if we don't make it, nobody else will. my whole life in that city now. First time away from home. I'm your home now, kid. What do you think it is, Kalo? Maybe some of them trying to escape to another planet. What do you think we should do? We don't have orders about escape attempt. So? So we blow it up. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Now, Mori Fighter, just one, but it's coming full thrust. Okay, now what do I do? Now what do I do? Lock in on target. Weapons activated. Now. Blast them. I can't. What? I can't. I mean, if I, we blast them, we're going to tip our hand. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Can we outrun them? We sure as hell can't outfight them, not with you in the driver's seat. Right, Kato, right. Turn. Turn it. Get me a shot. Just one clear shot. I'm trying, I'm trying, but he won't stand and fight. Halo, get me a shot. Get it out. Go back to work. Ah. Remember Lobo? He disobeyed orders, and now Sador is wearing his left foot. Huh? Maybe we better go back. Showing my backside to those mutant sons of bitches. I can't believe it. You got no backbone, kid. When Zed was your age... My job is to find mercenaries. And I'm not Zed. <laughs> you bet. Not even a pale imitation. Well, 
You know, I thought I did pretty well back there. I mean, you're still in one piece, aren't you? Sure you did. They have all the contests for running away. You'll be champion of the universe. Uh, why don't you... Why don't... Just take me to the Hephaestus station. <laughs> of Dr. Hephaestus, Shad. There, dead ahead. Emissary from the planet Akir. Dr. Hephaestus? Anybody receive my transmission? I'll have to go in anyway. Manual controls, Nell. Give me the docking thrusters, please. Function, huh? I'll have to take a look at your banks. <coughs> Wait a minute, I'm not an android. You're warm. Of course I'm warm. I'm organic. Haven't you ever seen an organic form? No. Besides my father. What? There are only the androids. I take care of them. I see. Well. If you would like to let me out of this, I'll tell you why I'm here, please. 
Unless I can bring back a fighting force and offer some resistance, we're finished. You think your father will help? My father isn't the way he was when your friend Zed knew him. You'll see. As long as he gives us the weapons. We're here. You go on alone. It's father's wish. You are welcome, Shad of the Akira. Thank you, Doctor. This is uh, quite a surprise. I heard your story in the corridor. When you're in my station, you're in my presence. Good. And we won't waste time. Are you willing to help us, Doctor? I'm an old man. Older even than Zed. I've seen wars, large and small, throughout the galaxies. Forms must prey on other forms to survive. That's not what the Varda teach us. We prey on no one. Your planet is doomed, and I have other plans for you. Other plans? This station was built for many. It remains a hollow and lonely place. You've met my daughter. Yes. Wait a minute. You, you don't mean that you want me to breed with your daughter? It seems a better fate than that offered by the Malmori, does it not? You would stay here in peace forever. Well, what about your daughter? Have you asked what she wants? Letris, Skew, escort the gentleman to Nanilia's room. He's got a lot to think about. Hi. Father wanted me to talk to you. He means to keep you here for me. I'm sorry. I do not have time for this. Don't you have enough toys? He says you're sure to be killed. I wouldn't want that. Saunders, prepare the conjugal suite. Fresh bedding, everything. The gentleman will be staying then, sir. He will. Nanilia will convince him. I'm sure she will, sir. The defense of this planet is hopeless. He will understand that. I'm sure he will, sir. We will have children here, Saunders. Noise, excitement, life. It will be quite a change, sir. In the colder season, even the grasses in the meadows change color. Chlorophyll content. Whatever. They turn bright red, yellow, orange. They change shade and wave when the wind blows. Wind? Yes, wind. It's, uh, it's rather like your ventilation system in here. You know, rapid ventilation, but it's different. It's bigger. It's, it's wind. I've scanned all these things in our data banks, but I've never experienced them. Did you know? That there's a form in the black galaxy whose children have no immune system till the age of five cycles. That means at the slightest trace of infection, they would just rot like fallen fruit. I have heard of them. Somebody. Who asked you? When they reach the age of five cycles, all the relatives gather together in a special room and they watch while the child tears and bites at this plastoid with its teeth and nails till it breaks out in the arms of its parents, feels their skin for the first time. Feels the wetness on their cheeks for the first time. It's horrible out there. Farms playing on other farms. Death. Most of them never do develop immunities. They die shortly afterwards. But the Huddites still feel that the breaking out ceremony is very beautiful. You really want to go back there, don't you? Even if it's certain you'll end? Oh, yes. I'm going back. Step into the captor grid. I must warn you, Miss Anelia, that will cause the captor grid to short circuit. Oh.
You know about computers. You can help us. I, I can't. I can't leave my father. Well, I wish I had time to stay and convince you, but it's your life. Such as it is. Dummy. What took you so long? wanted me to stay for dinner. And how is old Doc Festus? Well, he's not the man he used to be. Let's get out of here. Come with me. You can help us. at all? No, uh, but I brought an analyzer. We can predict their attack modes and plan a defense. I'd like to exchange data with that thing. Might be some new wrinkles I should catch up on. Who's that? It's just Nell. Nell? I'll introduce you later. Back on a cure. Wait for me in the Lambda Zone. has returned from Umatil. They have replied to our ultimatum. And? What's this? It is our emissary, sir. They have powdered him. They are a proud form. In an hour, there'll be an extinct one. Not a trace of them left. Not even their dust. You think the girl will be all right crossing through the Lambda Zone? Well, in my day, that was a pretty wild area, but it's probably tamed down like everything else. I suppose. He's a very interesting form now. Starboard side, kid. We got some action. What is it? The little ones are jackers. They're breaking down his force field. Then what? They incinerate him and steal his load. Yeah, 16 gamblers to carry my coffin, six pretty maidens to sing me. Lay the sod on me, for I'm a poor cowboy, you know I've done wrong. This is Space Cowboy. S.O.S. Mayday. Help! Can we help him now? Not without a fight. You're just lucky I haven't got any ammunition left. I've never taken life before, now. The Varda says we can take life to save life. Okay, now let's do it. Manual controls. Lock in on target. 
Fire. Fire. Not from behind. Step in it, kid. You gotta follow through. No, no, not from behind, no. Alrighty for our side. You fired without me. It had to be done. You're placed under my direct command. You fired without me. That which is not organic must not... Harm that which is. I know, I know. It's a damn stupid rule. Jacker to port. Sector three. I just did it. You had to, kid. You done fine. Fighting? <laughs> Listen, I've done more fighting than I've seen old movies, which is saying a lot, seeing that's all I do on long hauls. Well, uh, I have the greatest collection of old westerns. We'll need experienced soldiers. Would you care to fight with us? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You see, you're fighting Sador. Sador's never lost a war. He never quits. You fight Sador, and you've got a snowball's chance in hell. Snowball? Transmission from the planet Umatil. The Malmori force has arrived. Put it up on the screen now. That was my customer. How would you like 10,000 Mac Laser 4s and 40,000 charge slides? They're paid for, and I haven't got the fuel to get them home. You're carrying weapons? Well, they're hand weapons. The best we make. We're going to need weapons, but we won't know how to use them. Yeah. And we'll probably need someone to teach us how to use them. Yes, uh, I can see that. And we did save your life. Okay, my rig's a hauler, not a fighter, but I'll set up your ground defenses. Agreed? Put it there. Yeah, I'm not the cavalry. Cavalry? Yeah, I'll show you. You've got a treat in store for you. As a matter of fact, I'll show you Custer's last stand.
indeed. <laughs> a very tasty looking morsel. Who are you? Your savior. You are about to be digested by a zyme. A zyme? A creature who consumes living organisms. We're zymers. We cook them down for their protein. Oh, I am Kenny of the Landosome. And these are my crew. They're hurting me! Uh, they're Kelvin, Urim, and Thunim. The Kelvin are a thermal creature. They communicate in degrees of heat. And this is Kopeg, my Puna. Well, I'd like to thank you all very much. Now, just get me down. Now, now, now. Don't be too grateful. I know a market where a female form like yours could bring in some heavy dust. You'd do that? You'd sell me? <laughs> well, of course. Live or for protein. I do whatever pays the most. I'm hiring mercenaries for a great battle on the planet Akir. Oh. Is that so? What could this planet Akir offer me? Uh, they have the richest molybdenum deposits in the system. <laughs> nice try, hot blood. But I've already seen Akir, and there is absolutely nothing on that planet that I want. You're heartless! You're just like Sador! Sador? Sador? Sador of the Malmody? who we're fighting against. Okay. So, Sidor lives, does he? Your ship will need some repair. Kope, cut the Zyme loose. We cruise for a cure. We're being pulled in by something. Feels like a magnetic net. Look, sector two. Prepare full thrust, we'll break loose. I'm not strong enough. Remember the Varda. Well, what about the Varda? Think, what would the Varda say? No. To use greater strength against itself. It's our only hope, kid. All right, Big Mouth. Change course, right into their laps. Okay, what's the big idea? Don't everybody talk at once. Listen, if I don't get some answers fast, I'm gonna have to use this thing. Let me rephrase that. Oh. You are not of a violent form. We sense that you did not intend to shoot. You read my mind? Among other things. We have monitored your travels. You are seeking mercenaries for an adventure. We would like to participate. Well, we can't offer much in payment. No need. We are self-sufficient. We are Nestor. All of you? This is but a facet. These are but facets. There are hundreds of thousands like us at home and scattered throughout the universe. We are Nestor. Your clones. In a manner of speaking, we share identical consciousness. What one sees, all see. What one knows, all know. And all of you want to help us? These five facets, yes. Four of us are required to operate this ship. What about the fifth? We always carry a spare. Thank you. You see, 
there is only one Nestor, one consciousness. As you might imagine, this has proven very lonely, very dull. We must avoid becoming... We believe you have a phrase for it. Becoming bored to death. <laughs> Look, Kalo. Female. A bonding approved for procreation. A bonding conceived in the face of our present crisis. Where's where to guard the planet? Where's it gonna go? <laughs> Come on, let's do it. It'd make you happy, wouldn't it? What the hell? They're only Akira. Nascasa was one of the wildest cities in the Smilax system. Freebooters, outlaws, adventurers. If you're looking for mercenaries, that's the place. Doesn't look like much of a city to me. It's all under the surface. The weather's a bit touchy up on top. There are tornadoes and radiation storms every couple of days. Keeps the tourists away. sent you. I'm on a mission for the people of Akir. I'm hiring mercenaries. 
I was told that there would be many on Nascosto. You're a little late. There's nothing left but me. And the lower forms. What, uh, what happened here? The other planets in the galaxy formed a protective association. They raised an army and cleaned us out. We made them nervous. But you stayed. I came back for a rest. There's not a planet in the galaxy where there isn't a bounty on my head. What makes you so popular? I settle disputes very quickly. I'm very good at it. And I don't care who I work with. I've collected a lot of enemies along the way. Kill for pay? I have no home, no family, no principles. What else would I kill for? Pleasure? No. It's strictly business with me. Now, what's your pitch? I'm hiring mercenaries to protect against an invasion. But food and shelter is all we can offer in payment. All of our wealth is in our culture. I could buy your planet ten times over what I've gathered in this room. Plutonium. Cadmium. Quailine crystals. I've been very well paid for my work. I'm sorry, I've wasted your time. No. Wait. Listen to the rest of it. I sleep with my back to the wall. When I can sleep. I eat serpents seven times a week. It's not a major city in this galaxy where I can show my face or spend my wealth. Right now, your offer looks very attractive to me. A meal and a place to hide. So what do you think of him? He'll fight all right, but he'll fight alone. I don't care, just so long as he'll fight. Don't worry, he'll be pointed in the right direction. Wait a minute. What is it? I don't know, but it's right in my flight path. Could be a mercenary answering your call. A mercenary and that pea shooter? Listen, kid, in some galaxies that would be a big ship. The Thalians aren't much bigger than your hand, but there's some bad customers. Well, whoever he is, I don't have time to play with him. Put up the force field. What? Put up the force field. Hurry. What the hell is it? A challenge. A what? It seems he don't think this galaxy is big enough for the both of you. He's completely outmatched. He must know that. Don't lower the force field. He's too fast for you to hit. But he keeps coming at me. Ignore it. If it can't hurt you, forget about it. That's what the Varda says. I want a shot at him, Mel. You shoot down a couple of jackers, and all of a sudden, you're the scourge of outer space. Will you just shut up and help me fight him? Help yourself. You're being sucked in. Can't you see he's just playing with you? Blank. A what? Soft light, no heat. I'm not damaged. I have a transmission. I am Saint Xman of the Valkyrie. I have counted coup upon you. It was a very enjoyable fight. Enjoyable fight? But then all fighting is enjoyable. I have heard of your battle with the Malmori. I wish to join you. Oh, yes? What are you going to do? Shoot blanks at Sador? The Valkyrie are great warriors. In our youth, we must leave home and fight in many battles until we have proven ourselves. Well, you've proven yourself to be a pain in the neck, so why don't you just fly off? But I wish to fight. <laughs> My planet is in danger, and you're playing tag with me. Your ship is like a toy. You have no firepower. It is one of the fastest in the universe. Well, the Varda teach us that swift rain is little rain. But I want to join. Well, we don't want you. We don't need you, and we won't have you. So go count your coup somewhere else. 
You were a little harsh, weren't you? You saw her, she was playing with me. Yes, and she won. Would you like me to short circuit your audio? Shad to Cowboy. Shad to Cowboy, come in, Cowboy. Cowboy, are you there? Where you been, Shad? You're two martinis late. I've got some help. We'll meet in the Lambda Zone. Is that real smoke you're putting into your lungs? Yep. And before you ask, it is the worst thing in the world for me. Well, I don't think you should do it. Space Cowboy, meet Nestor. Welcome, Nestor. I'm from Earth. Ever hear of it? No, but we are pleased to meet you. We? How many you got in there? I'll explain it to you later. And here comes somebody else. Who's that? Do you want your name used? My name is Gil. Where are you from, Gil? I'm from Earth. Know where that is? I was born in space. Oh. Well, put in between us. I'll cover you. I don't like anyone behind me. OK. You keep a scanner on our tail. I always do. This is Cayman of the Lambda Zone. Thank you for... Thank you for joining us. I'm only in this for Sadomar. I want his head. Oh, well, you're welcome to it. Someone following us. Just ignore it. Maybe she'll go away. Well, you did all right, Chad. Turn her loose for a cure.
Beautiful. I'd love to see a pro work. He's had a lot of practice. Nell, I think we may have bought ourselves a chance. Let's head for the surface. I'm sorry. I think they must be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Of you. They're not accustomed to violence or violent forms. That's a hell of a note. Welcome to our kill. Why have you been hiding? Why are you all afraid? I brought these beings to save your lives. This is not the way to greet them. The Varda teach us to... Trust first, and judge later. I'm sorry for the reception you got. Welcome to our city, defenders of Akia. The warning system is operational. The Malmora should reach us within a rotation and a half of this planet. We have only five fighting ships against 25 of theirs. Our only hope is to try and knock out the stellar converter. Is that possible? Watch the screen. Like the rest of us, the Malmori ship has to lower part of its force field in order to fire. When the stellar converter is about to be activated, the ship is extremely vulnerable. Maximum spread capacity with an open shield delivery system. Exactly. They never bring out the converter until all opposition has been crushed by the fighters. Our job in the first contact will be to strip the big ship of its protection. The vibration from the sensor will dig the ditches. Another three degrees. Trenches, honey. We're gonna have a war. That's it, right there. We're gonna create the galaxy's biggest Malamori cemetery. Impressive. I've got some more surprises for any visitors. What drink is that? Scotch and soda. <laughs> oh, I could do wonders for that boy. I would recharge his capacitators, stimulate his solenoid, tingle, dingle, dangle, prangle his transistors. You know, sex. <laughs> Can't imagine what it must be like. Stick with me. You'll get an education. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Flagship to rear guard one. Do you read me? Flagship to rear guard one. Do you read me? Halo Tembo, come in. Could we possibly be out of range? Not at all, sir. Something must be wrong. What's wrong is that I have an army full of genetic mistakes. Why can't my mutants be intelligent like Eli? Well, you can expect us to measure up to you, sir. Don't flatter me. Those two probably slammed their ship into an asteroid. Well, they may have been shot down. Shot down? How? 
A kid has nothing to put in the air. Somebody came to help. Help a kid against me. <laughs> Nobody could be that stupid. Not even Kalo and Tembo. Or you. Do you think you could show me the ropes? Ropes? Well, St. X-Men said... Well, she explained how on her planet... What do you do here? I don't understand. For procreation, I mean. Oh. Well, it's, uh... It's very simple, really. Um, uh, males and females... Again. Only two sexes? On Bilandic, it takes three. And Kitzel, they Oh, have... no, just two. Just, just males and females, that's all. It's... That's a relief. Yeah. Well, maybe I, maybe I could show you the ropes. I've scanned information about mating. Does your species have kissing? Oh, yes. We have that. Um, I think it's your torque bar. My what? Your torque bar, it slipped its groove. You're going to need a new one. Yes. Yes, I think probably you're right. <clears throat> a new one. What is that you're eating? Well, that's a hot dog. It comes from Earth. Try one. Do you like it? There's no dog in this. Mm -mm. Hydrolyzed vegetable protein, soybean meal, niacin, dextrose, and sodium nitrate flavoring. Yep, that's what we call meat back home. Mister, are you a bad man? That's right. Why? I don't think the way you Akira do. If you think different, you get called bad. How do you feel? I don't. Mister? Were you bad when you were little? I was never that little. <laughs> All right, everybody, they're coming. They've reached the checkpoint, so get to your ships. See you later, hot blood. Yeah, see you later, hot blood. Go so on, good luck, partner. Thank you. Prep your thrusters now. I'm coming aboard. Come with me. You'd like it on Earth. Cowboy. Our outspace alarm only works at a distance of three mil marks. What? Oh, Sadar could see any liftoff. He would destroy you. Oh. 
Mm. Wonderful. I like your company. Huh. Thanks. Well, remember the Alamo. You forgot the ice and soda. <sighs> no, no, I didn't. Summer, something is approaching. It seems to be very s small. All can be recognized. I am Saint Exman of Valkyrie. I am protector of this planet. I order you to leave it in peace. Blast her out of space. Activate the drones. Prepare to launch the surface attack. Sonic tank crew. Clear missile. The only chance with these babies is to outrun them. It's locked on to us. We can't knock it out. 
All right. Let's head for Sador. baffles in case they get in front of it. Even if we plug our ears, we can't get any closer. Will you two radiators stand back? It's hard enough to think. It seems they're volunteering. Yeah, what can they do? Well, for one thing, the Kelvin have no ears. all their energy. Get them to the protein tanks. Hurry. Come on, let's go. Got them now, boys. Let's go 
we'll get him. What's the matter? I'm okay now, Shad. I, I received a transmission. What is it? Said the Corsair has ended. Oh. I'm sorry. He was the last of the great ones. into an asteroid. Let me tell you something. This may just be a game to you. But these are my people. I'm sorry. I forgot about your Varda. I am from a warrior race. We exist for battle. Our creed is to live fast, fight well, and have a beautiful ending. No violent ending is beautiful. You've never seen a Valkyrie go down. trying to kill me. <laughs> and I volunteered to be shot at. Just lie still. We've sent for a healer. Oh, what a place to end up. A minor planet in a third-rate galaxy. Have somebody prepare a meal. A meal? Full course. Then bury it with him. Bury it? That was our arrangement. A meal and a place to hide. The facet that was left here has arranged to be captured. What one sees all see. We'll be getting a picture soon. Are you capable of speech? Yes, quite capable. Good. And do you have a high tolerance for pain? Almost none at all, I'm afraid. How unfortunate for you. How many ships do the Akira have? And what are their capabilities? If I told you that, it would give you an unfair advantage. This is my surgeon. 
Daco. Daco is expert at inflicting pain while keeping the patient alive. It is good to have skills. You won't give us the information? No. I think you will. Daco? Lord Sador. We cannot tolerate pain. That facet has ended. He's dead, Lord Sedo. Yet he gave no indication of terminating. Just give me the arm. The arm! Hurry! ready. You're an artist, Daco. Thank you, Lord Sid. An artist. But when we conquer a cure and you have some time, you must do something about this. Life exists, the possibilities are unlimited. Chef? I never should have brought you here. Your father was right. I want to go up there with you. It's my life. I can risk it if I want to. Besides, I could help you up there. You know, I shouldn't say this. But I really want you up there with me. I'm terrified. So am I. We'll be together. Okay. Okay. Terrific. Now I've got two babies to sit for. No. Shut up. Prepare all ships for a full-scale attack. We'll make them burn. Burn.
the stellar converter fix on the planet akia he's bringing out the stellar converter you pretty thing and prepare to fire. But so that... Lower the force field. It has been damaged. I am Saint X-Men of the Valkyrie. It's been a very enjoyable fight. well and have a beautiful ending. All drones, protect the formation. Retreat behind the sun. Rotate engines, 180 degrees. Well, well. our force field at? A 10-6. And what do you make his at? It's an elytrians. I'm a 10-2. Of what form are you, Cayman? I am of the Lazuli. I thought I had the honor of making that form extinct long ago. I won't fail this time. Here I come, Cayman of the Lambda Zone. Say, <laughs> are you son of a bitch? Here I come. This is Space Cowboy from the planet Earth.
Going about 30 seconds to impact. He didn't want to fight, but he came anyway. to get him. He'll come back with more ships. We'll never be done fighting. I'm no match for his force field, Shad. I don't care, Nell. I want a shot at him. If we go for him, he just might open up. Shad. Give me full thrust, Nell. Think of the Varda, Shad. What is the first law of the Varda? Don't worry, there's four of them. Take me three points to the left, Neil. Take me two points to the right. Two points to the right, Neil. Now drop me two. Drop me two. By the way it moves, we must have crippled it. Bring it in on the track to be. I want them taken aboard alive. Akir is mine. Nell, can you do anything at all? I don't know. It's kind of fuzzy. If I could just remember. I can't let them take us. Don't worry. I'll blow the ship first. First law of the Varda is... First law of the Varda is to use greater force against itself. Anelia, watch the field sensors. And then reverse the thrusters. We're going right for them. Reverse thrusters. Just keep the beam on them. They'll be able to board us. It won't make any difference. There they are, at the forward deck. Get up there, I want them alive. 
Go! Let's go! Mel, I'm going to program you to self-destruct. Maybe we can pull that converter back on. Can you hear Right, Chad. We go back a long ways, Ed. Can you do it, Mel? Sure, just get yourselves into the projectile and I'll shoot you out of here. Projectile? Don't think I'm going to destruct with you still inside, do you? Get that hatch open! No! No! Just give us enough time to get clear, Mel. And then let him have it. 30 seconds and counting, Zed. 29, 28, 27, 24, 15, 22. Did I, did I say 15? Why don't you just start from 10 now? So long, Zed. So long, Mel. 9, 11, 13, 14. Fifteen, twelve, nine. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This is Sador of the Malmori. I command you to surrender. I'll surrender, you sorry son of a mutant. Five. Four. Monitor the converter access. It's going to blow. We're all gonna die. That can't be. I'm going to live forever. that no form ends until all the lives that it has touched are ended. Until all the good that it has done is gone. They are now a part of Akir. And they'll always be with us. <laughs> 